You ever ask yourself, how is that guy or how's that girl so confident? They may not even look all that in a bag of chips, but they're walking around like their aunt don't stink. You know what I mean? How is he so confident? How is she so confident? Regardless if you see these people driving around, walking around, you're just saying, I'm lacking some confidence. And let me tell you firsthand, there's a lot of people that look physically awesome that are very insecure. So in today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show, we're gonna break down five. I'm gonna give you five keys that are gonna give you instant confidence and get you super calientito, mentally, emotionally, and physically. You ready? Let's go. Hey, this is Jason Roselle, and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal. I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? We'll get ready because the show starts now. Now, as most of you know, I was not the most appealing guy physically growing up. And if you're just now following me, go, go, go look it up. You'll see for yourself being overweight, really overweight for 20 plus years, unconfident, super depressed, super anxious driven. I didn't know what confidence was, right? I thought maybe you just had to physically get in super great shape to maybe get confident. Does it help? We're gonna get into that. That's why today it's such an important episode because I'm gonna break down five key tips that are gonna instantly boost your confidence because I know firsthand what it's like to not have confidence. I took the time to really write down some notes and and I really hope you can grasp this and, and take it to the next level instantly. The first one is don't compare yourself to others you only see 20% of a person when you go based on what you see. So you may see their looks, but you don't see what it took to actually achieve the look, whether it's makeup, cosmetics, surgery, diet, or working out. You don't see the person's quality character or their values. You don't see how they live, their struggles, and most importantly, their mental health. So really take the time, jot this down because that's the worst thing you can do. You cannot sit and compare, compare, compare. You don't know everyone's story, right? The next one, number two, daily manifestation. Write down all the things that make you amazing and why you're so grateful. I mean, like really grateful. It could be, oh my God, I'm grateful for my mom, my dad, my son, my daughter, my husband, my wife. Uh, I'm grateful for the home I have. Write down whatever makes you happy. This will change your perspective in everything. I want you to next, number three, focus on what you have versus on what you don't have. Look, for many years, and a lot of my clients uh, know this story, and I've told this probably on past podcast interviews, every agent, every manager always told me, well, Jason, unfortunately, you're not good looking enough. You don't have the best six pack abs. You don't have, it was negative, negative, negative. So I would always ask each one of these people, well, what do I have that you do like? ¿Qué es lo que tengo de mí que te gusta mucho? And that in Spanish means, what, what is it about me that you do like? And they're like, your personality, you're charismatic, you're fun. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You know what? I took that one thing, that one compliment, and took it to the next level. So I want you to write down and focus on the awesome things that you have and make it the best polished version of it. So if, say for example, you don't like your stomach. Say maybe you've lost a lot of weight throughout the years and you have a little pooch going on still. Maybe you had kids, two, three, four kids, right? But you happen to have nice legs. You happen to have nice arms. And this it doesn't have to be aesthetically. This could be anything. This could be you have an awesome personality like I do. Make it even better. Maybe write a book, become an author, 
right? Maybe do public speaking. Uh, maybe you're a great cook. Do something with it, right? So focus on what you have, make it the best version of it, and don't worry about what you don't have, right? Number four, I want you to, oh my God, eliminate negative people, those negative little vampire leeches that come out at night. Yeah, vampire and leeches all in one. Let me tell you, these people will suck all your energy away and make you more depressed and negative than you will ever think. Because in life, as you know, you get what you put out, right? You put energy out with positive people, you're gonna get more positive. Now, if you're on the phone with your mom, your dad, somebody that's negative and they're gonna spread the negativity, you now I get it, you cannot remove mom and dad from your family. But what you can do is have a different perspective of it all and how you handle it. Remember, it's not what happens to you, you know, that someone caused it, right? You can blame. Take this little finger right here, right? Literally, I'm gonna come up here. Take the finger, take the finger. Don't point at the person that's pissing you off. Point it right back at you. Ask yourself, okay, how am I going to react to that person, right? At the end of the day, we have the power. Same thing how I always talk about stress. We cause our own stress. If someone is yelling at you, you have two ways to go about it. Either feed into them, stress yourself out, or realize, hey, they're going through some major stuff. Let me know, let me handle this in a way that mm, I'm not gonna be stressed out, all right? And lastly, do, for number five, do physical activity that's good for you daily, that's gonna make you feel good. It could be hula hooping. Maybe do some push-ups or maybe replace that super fat triple cheeseburger with bacon with maybe just a, a, a lean chicken club sandwich at Wendy's. Is, is, that, is that okay? Maybe McDonald's? Do you eat McDonald's? I don't really eat much of those, but when I do, I like to have healthy replacements. So there you have it. I just wanted to give you these five keys that instantly will give you a confidence boost. Why? Because life's too short. You cannot go on and, oh my God, I wonder if they're gonna like me. I wonder if I'm awesome. No, you are awesome. Yes, you are amazing. And you have to tell your thing, yourself these things every day, all right? So remember, keep it caliente, stay inspired. If you have any questions, drop me a comment below. Take a screenshot of this episode. Guys, remember, this I don't, I don't get paid to do this. This is because nobody was there helping me in the beginning of my development, mentally, emotionally, and physically. You're getting this all for free. All I'm asking, take a screenshot, share it on Twitter, share it on Instagram, share it on Facebook, get calientito, and I'll see you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer, and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle, and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.